I'm going to talk about a really basic but really fundamental aspect of Modo and that is the difference between item mode and component mode. In Modo there's this really wonderful ability to always be able to directly access and select um, the polygons, edges and vertices that make up your mesh and uh, you don't have to go into some kind of special sub-object mode like you do in some programs. Um, but the problem with that is that um, to the untrained eye it might look as if um, item mode and polygon mode are one and the same thing but they're not, they're very different and I'm going to show you why. So the first thing you need to do is hit the O key on your keyboard and go to show centers selected and now you can see it's drawn the center in the middle of my mesh. Now if, I, um, if I'm in polygon mode and in modo when nothing is selected, everything is selected, I activate the move tool and I move the mesh over, you can see that the center stays where, where it is. However, let me just undo this action. If I was to do the same thing in item mode, select the mesh and uh, move it over, you can see it takes the center with it. So that's the fundamental difference. Um, in Modo, basically component mode, which is polygon, edges, and vertices, is reserved for modeling operations and you should not do modeling transforms in item mode. Item mode is for things like scene layout and animation. Um, imagine if you'd uh, brought in a, a mesh from another application such as uh, ZBrush or Maya and uh, you, you performed a transform in item mode. Well what would happen is it would move your pivot so that when you brought your mesh back into your other application the pivot would move and that your whole geometry would have shifted to another place. It'd be even worse if you'd scaled it or rotated it. You'd get very unpredictable results. Another thing you should know about Modo is when you create a new mesh item, it's always going to create the item center, the world center. So if I hit N to create a new mesh, you can see it's uh, set the, world, the item center and the world center right there in the middle. Um, so if you draw your geometry here in the, at the world center, then that's absolutely fine. It's not going to be a problem. But um, you might find yourself, let me just turn this mesh on, where um, you create a new item and uh, you're adding to an existing mesh so you say draw out a cylinder somewhere out here and uh, let me just drop the tool, hide the car again you can see what's happened, you've created the geometry out here but your item center is here so if you were to go into item mode and select the rotate tool well that's probably not what you want um, so how do you fix this? it's really simple first of all make sure you're in item mode otherwise it won't work go to edit center to bounding box and you can see there's a bunch of options here you probably want center and you can see the center's now jumped to the middle of the mesh and now if I select my rotate tool that's exactly what I want it to do the other thing is you can actually move the center manually if you want so if you find the item button in the toolbar click and hold it until you get center and now you can select that center and move it rotate it whatever you want to do. If I drop that and go back into item mode you can see now if I activate the rotate tool that's where the transform is going to take place from. Okay, I hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching.